Hey everyone, this is Daniel, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the skip this question feature in Power Virtual Agents. Now, to make all this happen, I need to show you two more things, is how to create an entity in Power Virtual Agents, or PVA, and then in that entity, how to use synonyms. Now, before I jump in and kind of walk you through how this works, let's take a look at a quick demo I have for you. Now, what I have over here is logged into Power Virtual Agents. I've gone ahead and already created a bot, so let's go ahead and test the bot. So I'm going to come over here, test your bot, and then I'm going to start putting in some information, basically just having a little conversation. All right, so let's take a look. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, looking for some general information and say, hey, what kind of general information do you need? <clears throat> and some of the things it says, address, stored hours, you know, self-checkout, this, these are all good. But what I'm going to say is that I'm actually looking for bakery. So I just type in bakery. And it knows, it knows that, hey, this is related to groceries. So the bot responds back by saying, you know, all these things, bakeries, fresh fruits, vegetables, meat sections, all of these are there. And it says need more info. And again, two options are given is all good or need more info. And I'm not really sure. So I'm just having a conversation with the bot. So all I'm going to say is, mm, and that's it. The bot responds back. It understands what I'm saying. And it says, what kind of general information do you need today? It's kind of coming back and asking me, I think I know what you, you know, that you didn't answer your question. What else can I do? So it asks me the same options. Do you need address, store hours, self checkout? You know, the same things that I showed you before, pharmacy, groceries. I'm going to just ask a very simple question. It says, do they have fresh produce? So I'm asking that. And again, it came back with the same thing, bakeries and things like that. So after all said and done, um, it's asking me, are you all good? And I'm not going to click on any of the buttons. I'm just going to say, I'm good. And it knows again, it knows that, hey, did that answer your question? It says yes, so I'll go and say yes. Basically, in this demo, what I want to show you is that I haven't had to click any of the buttons. Um, I haven't had to respond back to the bot exactly the way it wanted. It was smart enough to understand what I'm saying, and then it even skipped the questions which it had ready for me. So if this tickles your fancy, stick around. But first, here's my intro video. So to build a working model of that same chatbot that I demonstrated a few minutes ago, I've gone ahead and created a new bot over here. I just call this a skip question demo bot. And what I also did was the uh, four lessons that we have over here, um, I went ahead and shut them off. The status, I've toggled them to off. That way we don't have any you know, conflict of interest or things like that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build the entity. And I'm going to build actually two entities. So let me walk you through that. I come over here, I go to entities, and in my entities, I'm going to select a new custom entity. And in the custom entity, I'm just going to give it a very simple name, and I'm going to call this as general information. And I guess I can copy and paste it to the description, but I'll leave it as is. Now here it says you must add at least one item. So I'm going to go ahead and add a few items, because in the general information, it's actually going to show up as a choices, which we saw in the demo. So here are the things I'm going to add. I'm going to add address, and once I've added, I can hit enter. I'm going to do store hours. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to say self um, check out. Again, hit enter. Pharmacy. And then groceries. So this is how I went ahead and added the entity. All right. Added the entity and added some list of items. Now we are going to add synonyms. Uh, the, the textbook definition of synonym is actually a word that is same or similar to. And it can be a word. It can be a sentence. So that's what we're going to do is we have address, but I'm going to add some other word or sentences that are similar to that. And you can go ahead and kind of play around with that a little bit. And I'll show you how that works. So for the um, I'm adding the synonyms for the address, it tells me that, hey, you're going to edit a synonym or you're going to add one. And by the way, this is the one that you're focusing on. So uh, in the synonyms, I'm going to add is store address and hit enter. I'm going to say store location. I'm going to hit enter. And for now, these are the only two I like. Uh, in case you missed it, you can always just click on it and it'll go ahead and, you know, um, allow you to check it out or maybe edit it or you can delete it. So I'm done over here. Now let's take a look at, oh, you know what? I'm in a store address, store location. That's fine. Uh, store hours. Store hours, I'm going to say, what time is the store open? Go ahead and add that. Done. And then self-checkout. Self-checkout, I'm actually need a little bit more information over there. So as I am a person who's going to chat with, say, another real person, these are the type of questions I'll come up with in this format. So I'm going to say things like, do they have self-checkout? I'm going to hit enter. I will also say um, stores that have 
self checkout machines, right? Did that over there. Again, this is me thinking about it. You can add more. And one of the things I've thought I've learned is that the more you add, the more smarter the bot gets. So kind of put in that. All right, for the pharmacy, I'm going to say off the counter medication. Um, and is the pharmacy included? Done that. And then for the groceries, there's probably a lot more that I have in the groceries. So let's kind of start typing that. I'm saying bakery, meat, fruits, vegetables. Do they have fresh produce? See, I kind of getting, you're getting an idea of what it is that I'm adding over there and how this item um, relates to the synonyms that we have over here. So I've gone ahead and saved that now and we are good. It's going ahead and saving it. There's one more that I want to put in, and that was the towards the end when it came and asked need more info. Um, that was actually just another entity with synonyms over there. So I'm going to let this thing finish off uh, saving because it's saving the items and each of its respective synonyms. Let it go and finish saving that. We'll go and add the next one. Cool. Close this list. Save successfully. Um, I see it over there. Now let's go ahead and add a new custom entity. This one I'm going to say need more info. Cool. And here I'm going to say all good with an exclamation mark or I'm also going to say need more info. Nice. Now for the all good, I'm going to add a whole bunch more. All right. So I'm going to say instead of all good, somebody might just say thanks or somebody might say I'm good. Somebody might say finished Um, say yeah, I'm good. Then I will say thanks for your help. Um, I'm good. Uh, no more questions thanks for answering and i'm done see add done finish the model over there and it says um the all good it says basically i'm um, <clears throat> um synonym value already exists so we'll just leave that for now and we'll see if it comes back over here and then the next one is for need more info i'm going to say need help um i'm so lost um uh, you said that, huh? That's a huh. It's a good one over there. It says, I'm confused. It says, kind of. Then I think I'm going to say just kind of. I'm going to say, yeah, kind of. It says, uh, more info. I'm going to say, need more info. Um, and it says, then I'll just say, I might. And then, not sure. Again, just everyday conversations. And this kind of sometimes feels a little weird when you're adding it because, you know, Right now, say, well, I don't know if it's going to be that way, but it might just be it. When you're having a conversation, somebody might actually add that. All right, so it's telling me that a synonym value already exists. So let's see, maybe I've got a duplicate somewhere. Um, I got, I'm done, I'm good. Okay, I got a duplicate and I'm good. So right now, it's not at the point where it picks up the duplicates and doesn't let you do that. But it's smart enough that if there is a duplicate, it'll tell you that, hey, you, there's something wrong over there. Go check it out. So still not too bad. I like it. So that is done. We went ahead and added the uh, the two synonym. I mean the two entities, and for each of the entities, we went ahead and added its synonyms. So next thing we're going to do is now start building the topic itself. So I'm going to come over here now, topics, and in the topics, I'm going to add a new topic, and in the new topic, I'm going to go ahead and say that as general information. So that's what I'm going to do. Come over here to the entitlement. Um, Oh, right here. I'm going to come over here and give that name as general information. So that's what I'm typing in. General information. I'm going to go ahead and give a couple of trigger faces over here. I think I've, um, I know there are many. Uh, the minimum it wants five, uh, but I'm going to put in a solid amount of them. So follow along with me. Common asked info. Enter. Uh, commonly asked information. Um, common information. Um, uh, what else? Um, common asked. Ah, I guess I already put that in over there. Information only or information on. Um, can you provide me some info? S O M E. Info. Um, can you provide me some information? Information. I need some general. Oh boy, general info, um, general info, looking for some general information. 
let's see, I'm gonna go through my list over here in case I've missed anything. Um, yep, and I'll say I need some general information. Over here, I just had general info, putting in general information. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. Let me just go ahead and save it so I don't lose anything. And then after that, we can go to the authoring canvas. All right, the authoring canvas was saved successfully. Now, I mean, the, the, the topic was saved successfully. Let's go to the authoring canvas. And in the authoring canvas, it comes back with all of these that I put over here. Um, I don't need this message right off the bat, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. But now I'm gonna go ahead and ask a question. And then my question variable by default is going to be, I'm gonna select actually here, here, select that, and I'll call that as my um, general information type. So it already saves that over there. And here I'm gonna question is, ask a question is, uh, what kind of general information do you need? So, so far, nothing new, but now things get interesting. I come over here and I look for that entity that I've created. So I come over here and I go look for general information. And in the general information, you gotta use this select options for user. So I went ahead and selected this option over here. These were the four ones. Similar to us, you know, writing them, um, selecting ones over here, like there's the feature which is multiple choice options. Getting that from the entity is very similar to that. But here's the big thing. See that skip question option? There is by default the skip question radio button over there and it gets selected, but it doesn't seem to work. And I've seen this question come up a few times to me. I've even seen this question come up in the community and there was actually one answer that it got. And I was like, okay, that's a pretty good one. Um, so I tested it and that is exactly the correct answer. So here's the answer. The only way this seems to work is if you have created an entity and in the entity, you've gone ahead and actually select, I mean, provided all the information just like we did. We added each of the items. You can take it a step further by even adding the synonyms. But the synonym, I mean, the entity and the, uh, its items and the synonyms, if you add that over here, and if you have this selected, only then is the chatbot smart enough to understand that, hey, the question that is being asked or the what the person is typing in is related to one of these things over there. Let me just double check the uh, synonyms. Like, oh, yeah it's lining up with the cinnamons and therefore it's more than likely this is one of them uh, working over there. This is how you make that skip to question work. This is how you make that chatbot a little bit smarter so it understands what it is that you're looking for. All right, so let's go ahead and actually do some testing over here so you can get a good idea. Uh, let me just finish this off. I'm gonna put a few conditions because you asked some questions. I'm gonna go ahead and add a few con uh, conditions. And the first one, let me close this one over here so we can actually see that. I'll come in in the general information and the information is equal to address and the address I'll go and add a message and in the message I'm going to copy and paste the message I won't spend too much time um, putting that over here next I'm going to go ahead and add um, another condition um, and another condition in this condition I'm going to say equal to uh, store hours in the store hours I'm going to copy and paste uh, the text or the message over here this is the easy part, so I'm gonna go in as quickly as possible. There, add another condition. In the condition, I'm going to go ahead and do that. This is for groceries. And now that you see what I've typed over there, it kind of makes sense in the demo that I did. The demo is exactly the same one over here. I'm replicating um, the demo. And for all other conditions, I'll just add a message. And the message is gonna be basically for the pharmacy. All right, so did that, and I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Now in the save, I'm gonna go ahead and ask another question. That question is also coming from that entity, and in that entity, we're gonna go ahead and use also those synonyms. So for that, I'll just ask a question right here first. Is that um, need more info? From here, I come now, and I go ahead and look for that question, or need more info. Keep scrolling, there it is, need more info. Got it, click on select options. I'll select both of these, come over here. I'll just make sure, yep, the skip question is good. It is selected over here. And then I'll change that to bar um, need more oops, space, more info. Good. And then I'll go ahead and add um, in the condition for need more info. If it is need more info, then I'll go ahead and do that. Let me see if I can do it because I click on it. Sometimes I seem to have a struggle with this one. 
So I, I want to highlight this. I want to scroll up and connect it to this one, but it doesn't seem to work that well. It makes it a little tricky for me. So what I, here's my um, um, workaround for that. Is I go and add a message, right? That way I see this button over there. Now I click on it and I go up, go up. Now I click on this one. It connects, but then the message goes to the top and then actually you might have an error. So I'll go ahead and just delete that. And that seems to be the best way that I've got it to work. Uh, if you've got any great methods if you work around, please put it in the comments over there so we can share that with the community. Uh, finally, I'll just come over here and I'll go to the end of the conversation. Um, just end with the survey. Save it and we are actually done. It is exactly the same way that it works over there. Uh, what I've noticed in the uh, Power Virtual Agent, sometimes it takes a while for the whole system to just kind of you know, um, uh, work, propagate. It takes a few extra minutes. So that's why if I go and start testing it now, it may not work um, because it takes a few extra minutes for it to just kind of settle down is what I say. But you know what? Let's just give it a shot. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it's kind of the exact same thing over there. I've got both of them. Uh, goodbyes and I've got um, there were the topics over here I've got the entities um, general information need more I mean, so let's let's start working on this all right I'm gonna say uh, looking for some general information and it comes back it's thinking it's like what kind of general information do you need again gave me those same options that I have let's start to go ahead and replicate it with saying bakery uh, bakery and in the bakery, it goes ahead, it checks with the, you know, hey, there is something similar in the bakery. It's actually in the um, uh, uh, in the grocery section, but I didn't type in groceries. However, in the synonyms, I had something bakery. So it came back really successful, which is neat. Now, it should have come back and asked me, do you have another question? But for some reason, it did not. I must have not finished the bottom of it. Yeah, but you've seen me working on that. So as a quick recap, in the last 15 minutes, we actually did a lot. We went ahead and built our first PVA chat that went ahead and I used the entities for each of the entities. We added synonyms and using that combination, we were very successful with the bot completely skipping a question just by the, per the question that the person answered. The other neat thing was when even the bot provided some options for the users to check, the user never checked. In fact, the user actually said something completely different. Instead of the user selecting gallery, I mean, instead of the user selecting groceries, he just put or she just put in um, bakery and it still knew exactly what the users are asking. So this concept of skip skip question feature in PVA is very useful. Hopefully this was helpful to you. Um, if you like this video, I highly recommend that you go ahead and like it. Feel free to add comments, but definitely subscribe to it and hit on the bell notification because that is a win-win situation for you. All of this is free. And as always, keep using Power Virtual Agents.